I am here because I completely reject this entire political agreement since it does not represent the people. Any form of coup is rejected. Even with Hamdok's return to the government, our revolution, the glorious December revolution, is for the sake of a civil institution and a complete civil authority, not for the sake of individuals. We now go to journalist Ahmed Kabalo in London. Ahmed, the, I mean, this has been going on for three years now. What do you think could be a possible solution to this seemingly never-ending problem? A solution would be for Sudan's military to act like militaries are meant to act and to retreat back to their barracks and not involve themselves in the governance of Sudan. Now, the reason why the people are protesting is because since Sudan's independence in 1956, we've had military dictatorship after military dictatorship. Whenever there has been an attempt of a popular people-led revolution, the military stepped in and engaged in some sort of coup attempt. And that is what they think has happened this time round. The military tried a coup on October the 25th, and then Hamdog, while on house arrest, signed this so-called political agreement. Now, how can you sign a political agreement while you're still being detained and you're signing the agreement with your captures with, with the people that are your, um, sorry, the people that are holding you hostage, essentially. And that, that's why people are angry. They don't think it's a genuine political agreement. They think that Hamdog has let down the ambitions and the aims of the revolution. And they want to see a free and fair election. And they think any election that takes place while the military is overseeing a transitional civilian government that's led by technocrats, who are being handpicked by the military council will not be a free and fair election, and that the military will essentially put in place a, a subordinate civilian government that will answer to them and follow their own aims and ambitions, not the aims and ambitions of the hundreds of thousands, some people say up to a million people that are on the streets of Sudan today. Okay, Ahmed, put this into perspective for us. Are you indicating that uh, the, the agreement that was reached between Hamdok and the military means nothing for the people of Sudan? I'm 100% saying that because Hamdok was meant to represent the protest movement. The protest movement has overwhelmingly rejected this agreement. This agreement only happened because the military decided to engage in a military coup which is, the, which is the antithesis of the transitional peace agreement that was signed in 2019 between the military and the civilian, um, transitional civilian leaders, or sorry, the leaders of the, of, of the protest movement, which led to the transitional government. So the fact that the military has already betrayed their previous agreements means that they're not honest actors. It means that they've lost the trust of the Sudanese people. And the Sudanese people do not believe that the military truly wants a transition to civilian government. But in actual fact, what they really want is a continuation of their role as the overseers of Sudan's governance, which they've played in some form or another since 1956. All right. Ahmed Kabalo in London, thank you very much for that update.